Standard 7th Subject Maths Chapter 15 Statistics Practice Set 54 Let's learn how to find average. The following table shows how many minutes Asmita took to cycle to school every morning from Monday to Saturday. So the time is shown in minutes here. We see from the table that she takes 18 minutes on some days, 20 on others and even 22 minutes on one day. If we consider the 6 school days, what would you say is the approximate time she takes to cycle to school? In mathematics, to make such an estimate, we find the average. If we add together the number of minutes required on each day and divide the sum by 6, the number we get is approximately the time required every day. It is the average of all six numbers. So, here we have on Monday 20 minutes, Tuesday 20 minutes, Wednesday 22, Thursday 18, Friday 18 and Saturday 20 minutes. Altogether, you will see there are six days. That's why we add them and divide by six to find the average. So, what we can say? Average is equal to sum of the number of minutes taken to cycle to school on each of 6 days divided by total days. So you add up 20 plus 20 plus 22 plus 18 plus 18 plus 20 divided by 6 is equal to 118 upon 6 is equal to 19 to upon 3. So, on an average, Asimita takes 19, 2 upon 3 minutes to cycle to school every day. So, you will see that the time given here is a whole number. Okay. But, we may get the answer in fractions as well. So, let's see another example. A school conducted a survey to find out how far the students live from the school. Given below is the distance of the houses of six of the students from the school. Let us find the average distance from the school. 950 meters, 800 meters, 700 meters, 1.5 kilometers. Now you will see the difference in units here. All are in meters except 1.5 is given in kilometers. Even 1 is given in kilometers. 750 is again meters. So, remember to find the average, we must express all the distances in the same units. Hence, in this box, you can see 1 kilometer is given as 1000 meter. So, we will take 1 kilometer as 1000 meter. That means 1.5 kilometer will be equal to 1500 meters. So, accordingly, we will write Average is equal to sum of the distance between home and school for 6 students upon total number of students. So, we will add all these numbers in meters. So, 950 plus 800 plus 700 plus 1500 meters plus 1000 meters plus 750 meters divided by 6 is equal to 5700 upon 6 is equal to 950 meters. The average distance at which the students live from the school is 950 meters. So, this way the units have to be same if you are comparing the numbers to find out the average. Whenever we are adding, the units have to be the same for the given numbers. So, now based on this average, the concept of average, we are going to solve our practice set number. 54. Now I know what is average. Average is equal to sum of all scores in the given data upon total number of scores. So let's begin with practice set 54. The daily rainfall for each day of a week in a certain city is given in millimeters. Find the average rainfall during the week. Now you can see 9, 11, 8, 20, 10, 16, 12. They are all the amount of rainfall in a city in millimeters. So, the units are the same. So, let's write the answer. Average rainfall because it is asked 
find the average rainfall so we write average rainfall is equal to always use the word sum sum means addition sum of the total rainfall upon number of days because the daily rainfall is given of for each day of a week so we have to take it upon number of days in a week there are seven days so seven days how much rainfall was there is given to us so we added 9 plus 11 plus 8 plus 20 plus 10 plus 16 plus 12 upon 7 the total comes to 86 upon 7 when you divide it further you get it as 12.29 millimeters so this way we have completed our question number one question two during the annual function of a school a woman self-help group had set up snacks stall their sales every hour were worth rupees 960 rupees 830 rupees 945 rupees 800 rupees 847 rupees 970 respectively what was the average of the early sales so per hour how much they earned is given to us so we write our answer as average early cell is equal to total cell upon number of hours so total cell is add up all the numbers 960 plus 830 plus 945 plus 800 plus 847 plus 970 upon 6 so what we are doing here is we are adding the cells per hour every hour how much was the sale by the total number of hours total number of hours if we count how many units are given here how many hour, times hours are given 1 2 3 4 5 6 so as many time the work is given per hour that many times we take the total 6 hours so when you total up you get 5352 upon 6 Divide it further and our final answer is 892. Thus the average of the Ali cell per hour, the average cell is rupees 892. Question number 3. The annual rainfall in Vidarbha in 5 years is given below. What is the average rainfall for those 5 years? So annually... The rainfall is given in millimeters for 5 years. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So average will be addition of all these 5 years divided by 5. So let's see the answer. Average rainfall for 5 years is equal to total rainfall in 5 years divided by 5 years. 900 plus 650 plus 450 plus 733 plus 400 divided by 5 is equal to 3133 upon 5 which is equal to 626.6. Thus, the average rainfall for 5 years is 626.6 millimeters. So, all you have to do is add the given year amount of rainfall for 5 years and divide it by 5. Question number 4. A farmer bought some sacks of animal feed. The weights of the sacks are given below in kilograms. What is the average weight of sacks? So, the total weight of each sack is given. Count how many sacks are there and then add all the weights and by the number of sacks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, the total number of sacks we have is 8. And what is this given to us? It is the total weight in of all the sacks so let's write the answer average weight we have to find the average weight see in the question what is the average weight so write average weight is equal to total weight of all the sacks upon total number of sacks so you add all the weights 49.8 plus 49.7 plus 49.5 plus 49.3 plus 50 plus 48.9 plus 49.2 plus 48.8 upon the total number of sacks is 8. When you add you get it 395.5 upon 8. 
so add carefully the decimal point should come below the decimal point while adding when you divide you get a final answer as 49.4 thus the average weight of the sacks is 49.4 kg so this way we have solved our practice set number 54 based on average so what is average average is the total the sum of all the given quantities upon the number of quantities okay so average has to be found out by first doing the sum of the total that is given to you okay whichever quantity is given you have to just find a total of it divide it by the total number of the quantities and then you will get, you will get the average so do practice this sums well in your book stay safe keep learning and thank you